Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So welcome to your new moon in Aries readings, which does happen here on April 1st. So we're going to take a little look here at uh, the energies we're working with and I'm going to dive right into your reading. So we're dealing with a new moon energy which is all about new cycles, visions, dreams, goals, inviting in new positive energies in all areas of your life and also sending out well wishes for others, yourself and the universe basically. And then it's in the sign of Aries. So Aries is a fire sign. So, you know, that Aries energy is about being a leader in control of your destination, um, intention to make positive change, taking action on goals, trying new and innovative things as well, confidently being confident, assertive, without abrasiveness. And it's about embracing change and navigating it through with confidence as well. So when you think of Aries too, you think in the tarot represents the emperor and the tower. So, I mean, the Emperor is about leadership, taking control, and, uh, you know, the Tower is about change and endings and epiphanies as well. And then we're talking about the fire energy, which is all about that passion, courage, bravery, determination, willpower, strength, creativity, purpose, and inspiration. So the new moon is all about new beginnings, uh, new intentions, trying new things, being creative, inviting in new cycles, and just new energies overall and being in that leadership energy to take control and make things these new things happen for yourself so we're going to see you know there could be all areas of your life so we're going to see what is going on for each and every sign and so i shall see you at your signs reading hi aquarius welcome in welcome in hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time let's see what's going on for you with this energy with the new moon in aries this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Any heavy placements, male or female, a general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around. Anytime you feel the need to, feel free to do that, especially cross watchers. Could actually be a reading or messages for you as well. Okay, I pulled you an extra card because I've been getting this weight card a lot, so I just wanted to get you a little extra card. So we have explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. All about trying new things during this new moon. And But then we have wait. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. So it could be uh, at least exploring your options, at least putting the thought out there of wanting to explore new things experiment with new things and it may be okay you can um explore and you can you know uh what's what i'm looking for definitely see what's out there all right and it doesn't mean you have to make a choice or decision or do you know a certain thing but at least you're putting yourself out there and you're learning you're growing you're expanding maybe researching it says make a wish this is a magical moment make a wish and enjoy its manifestation so i feel like you're definitely wishing um for some sort of change that is for sure so i think it's time to start exploring researching um now it doesn't mean that you have to like i said do it right away but at least starting uh, the process here whatever that is for you all right, so let's see. What else do we have for Aquarius? Everything you need to know for Aquarius is down below in the description box. You can check that out if you would like to. Your playlist are down there as well. And if you are new or returning here, um, you can still check out your March readings. This will probably out before the end of March. There's a March love reading end of March. And I did a full moon in Virgo, so if you like to check that out, I know we're past that, but that's okay. I did create a backup channel in case something ever happens to this channel. You can sub to that one. Link is below. Um, it's looking like it's probably going to be a Twin Flame channel. There was a poll on the community tab, and so far Twin Flame uh, is in the lead. You could still go and vote as well. You may have to dig a little bit, but it is there. And there's a new poll every day, so feel free to vote on that as well. So we have the Three of Swords. And the nine of wands, spiritual strength, three swords, heartache, and loss. Now, nine is almost 
full completion, full circle to new beginnings, because it'd be nine, ten, and then one new beginnings. And now we have three heartache and loss. Three can be about rebuilding, growth, expansion, um, compromise. I just heard strategy. I usually don't get that with th a three. But um, you may have just just uh, experienced some loss in some way. Could have been in an endeavor, a project, a business, or something you're trying to achieve. But this Nine of Wands about perseverance and not giving up. It's a little bit of a struggle, fight, battle, but you'll only grow, grow stronger. So I feel like this loss, you know, in the three years, is kind of like about rebuilding. So it's like, okay, you may still be in a little bit of um, sadness over some sort of setback or something like that. But, you know, and you're like, oh, I wish I could just, you know, recover from this or I could have a chance to start all over again. But you know what? You can at least start to explore new avenues, different options um, to make change. And I think the wish will be granted. So uh, start to explore, start to research, start to get, you know, yourself out there to uh, learn new things as well. All right, Aquarius. If you are new or returning, I was doing weekly readings and weekend readings. I switched back to monthlies because I do work a full-time job, 40, 50 hours a week, and I just cannot keep that schedule. It's just too um, time-constraining for me to do that. So I went back to monthlies, but I'm still going to do as many as I can in many different topics. So keep an eye out for that. I'll do um, more love readings, singles, new love, basic love reading, the new moon, full moon, maybe some money readings messages from spirit which i love doing those so keep an eye out for many different types of content all right so we have purpose i know what i am here to do so you know exactly what you want to do the direction you're heading so don't lose your sense of purpose that is for sure regret i know that i cannot change the past so there may be something um that happened you know maybe you did something it may not have been intentional or it was uh, an unfortunate uh, line of events that kind of happened. And maybe you're like, oh, if I would have did this different or that different. But you can't change it. And don't hold yourself in a state of constant regret over things that you can't change. Because I think, you know, you need to st still keep going on the purpose, whatever that is for you. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius. I'm feeling like um, a new path or avenue is going to open up for you. And I'm not saying like you're going to change your total trajectory. It's just some sort of new path, avenue, uh, or something's going to line up for you. All right. Let's see here for Aquarius. New moon in Aries. It's about trying new things. All right, Ten of Swords, Hierophant. Yeah, things are about to change and level up. So where you felt like whatever the setback was or the disappointment, it's like, oh my gosh, that just like put a halt. It, maybe you feel like it ended uh, your purpose or it ended your mission or it ended a circumstance. And you're like, I don't think I can recover from this. This is what I'm feeling. But see, the Hierophant here, it's Taurus energy, is about a big leveling up here. So this could be about learning as well going back to school or educating yourself um this could be a wise advisor or counselor as well ten of wands wow so this is really weighing you down weighing someone down here but see we have the chariot here so i could be traveling or moving but this is about success victory drive ambition and balance positive movement forward yeah somebody feels like they sabotage something like, why did I do that? Why? It's kind of what I feel here. We do have the Ten of Cups here on the top of the deck, though. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment. I mean, it could be about a very heartbreaking relationship as well. It could be a very uh, spiritual relationship. So it could be that um, you're still very heavily spiritually connected. You know, and maybe if you're waiting for this person and you're hoping and wishing for them to come back, you know, explore your options. Maybe start dating other people. All right. Let's see. 
What else do we need to know for Aquarius? This new moon in Aries. I mean, the Hierophant can be about marriage, commitment, uh, morals, tradition, values, standards, um, institutional energies, law, government, big corporations and businesses, spiritual, faith, religion, on a big leveling up as well. All right. What else do we need to know here for Aquarius? Four of Wands, a very stable, grounded energy. Some of them, you know, may have been waiting for a commitment. Maybe wishing and hoping for marriage or commitment with a certain person. You may strongly feel. It could be a twin flame connection. I mean, it doesn't have to be. I mean, the Four of Wands is my soulmate twin flame card. But it's a stable, grounded energy on the home front. It could be buying, leasing, renting a home, moving in, marriage commitment, ceremony, celebrations. Um... All right, let's get a little more here. Page of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. That's a solid offer. You may get like an investor or somebody who comes in with a like a, a spark of an idea and it's something tangible, if that makes sense. Like maybe taking a product in a new direction or changing something or if that even makes sense. And you're like, wow, you know, I really like that idea makes it even better like improves improves the the situation or the product two of cups this could also be uh, a business partnership making a deal or contracts it's also soulmate energy here I mean we do have Leo on there with the lion so you definitely have a soulmate here All right, what else? Oh, that's too many. That is too many. I just want three more for Aquarius. What else does Aquarius need to know? Oh my God, the lovers, Gemini. So this is a choice or a decision here, and I think it's going to be the right choice, especially if you have somebody new coming in or maybe somebody you know who may help to change um, either a product or take something in a new direction or maybe improve something or maybe invest. Um, and I could kind of see contracts or deals being made here or, you know, going into partnership with someone who has the same creative ideas. You know, it doesn't have to be an opposite sex. It doesn't matter. I know there's a male and a female here. But again, like the same energy here, Gemini energy with the lovers, making a, a right choice here. All right, let me shuffle these again. Thought there was one i got a big clump all right notes here for aquarius page of swords that's you aquarius you're going to be learning something new again and that could be you know exploring your options doing research getting online uh doing research learning new things re-educating yourself or learning things in a new way somebody could be you know keeping tabs on one another here but it could be honest communication coming in as well. All right. I feel like somebody was overwhelmed by the strong spiritual connection. And maybe that's why they kind of, I don't know why I heard double back because I'm looking at the two tens there. They doubled back on either commitment or marriage. But strong soul tie here as well. The star. Wow. So divinely, that's you, Aquarius. Wow. Faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, healing. Some of you are meant to shine, be a star, really shine, stand out in what you do as well. So don't give up. I think either something needs to be changed or tweaked or exploring different avenues or whatever that means for you. We have the world here. It could be moving, traveling, or distance. Closing of a cycle. New cycle starting. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So new cycles are about to begin. Where you thought there was some sort of difficulty. Definitely here with two tens that could not be overcome. King of Wands. It could be an entrepreneur, business owner, a leader. Someone that has a lot of creative new ideas. Leo energy. I feel like this could be either an entrepreneur or a business owner 
or somebody with great expertise that really could transform. I mean, the death card is about transformation. Really could transform things for you, getting you out of this tough cycle as well. Divine clarity from source. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment, truth, clarity, honest communication, successful new beginning, cutting out ways that don't work. As well. You may be a little reluctant, like, you know, if someone comes in, well, you know, I have this idea, and you're like, mm, I don't know about that. But see, the universe is, oh no, this is divinely guided, because whatever this is will lead you um, in the right direction. It's about soulmates coming together as well. Temperance here, Sagittarius, peace, harmony, balance, healing, past lives. As I say that to the Six of Cups. So someone is returning here. This could be a deep soulmate, spiritual, past life connection as well. Someone definitely regrets what they've done when it, uh, revolving around love. All right. What else here for Aquarius? Again, the chariot, cancer, energy, positive movement, forward, success, and victory, drive, ambition, balance, death, transformation. Could be somebody at a distance as well. It could be someone that you actually uh, start talking to online, online communications with the world here in a world wide web. Someone at a distance, you may actually meet up uh, and talk business or something like that. Scorpio here with death, that's really about transformation. Somebody at a distance here can really transform something for you. That's kind of what I feel. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was a clump. Okay, a couple more here for Aquarius. Three of Pentacles. It's about rebuilding. Collaborating. Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginning. And the Ace and the Three gives you the Four of Pentacles, which is about stability. So whatever this new opportunity is will give you a chance to collaborate and rebuild and transform. Could be somebody from a distance who is very successful. Could meet them online, you know, through social media or something like that as well. Could be a person at a distance. Could be coming in with that solid opportunity. Okay, let's build together now. I'm ready. After fearing, you know, maybe the strong spiritual connection just feared them, just scared them, and they ran out of fear. All right, what else here? The Five of Swords. Definitely about sabotage or defeat and the Five of Cups. Wow. So there's a regret with the Five of Cups energy, which is right here. And the Five can be about sabotage as well. Defeat, feeling defeated and full of regret. Wow. Aquarius, what the heck? Okay, let's get you one more. But we have 5-5, five, five, which is 10, endings, completions, then one new beginnings. See, there's partnerships on the horizon here that you may not even know about yet. I'm feeling more like business or uh, creativity or something like that. Definitely somebody regrets... Um, what they've done to a soulmate connection, that is for sure. Three of Swords. Oh my goodness. Double Three of Swords here. Oh, I can't leave it there. That's all that regret, loss, heartache, pain, disappointments. Six of Swords. Someone is returning. Someone is returning. Six of Swords. Again, somebody at a distance. But if they left, went away, they're coming back for massive healing here. This is the happiest card in the deck. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, growth, expansion, soulmate to inflame, love, peace, harmony, everything positive with the sun, Leo energy. The fool, let's, that's you Aquarius, let's wipe the site clean, let's start over, let's start fresh and new. Empress, see, 10 of cups. I feel like there's somebody who does own their own business or does something who is an expert. They really know their shit. They know what they're talking about. Will help you get to this um, status of being an emperor or an empress, maybe an entrepreneur, a business owner, whatever that is for you. 10 of cups, ultimate happiness, joy, and fulfillment. Manifesting new beginnings here, Gemini Virgo. Again, this could be, you know, um, 
networking, socializing, dating, getting to know, celebrating. Here's the emperor. So we have empress and the emperor. Empress and the emperor. Aries energy. Equal give and take. Wow. So definitely here. Yeah. It's a waiting parent right now. Feels like just waiting, waiting, waiting. But I feel like the world here, things are about to change. So be open to all and any new avenues and options that come your way. I feel like regarding uh, whatever you're trying to accomplish here. And I feel like if you wish for this person to come back, um, I think they are. Definitely to heal the situation here. And wanting to wipe the slate clean. We start over. I regret what I've done. All right, Aquarius. You know, the new moon in Aries about being bold and taking a leap here. What else do we need to know for? Oh, my goodness. Let's see. We have Dare to be Happy 26, 8, Travel, Action, Communication. Two people finally together being very happy, uplifting one another. Open your heart, 15, 6, very healing, balanced energy. Opening your heart, daring to be happy. Take a breather, 17, which is 8. Again, so things are going to start moving forward. I kind of got the same uh, energy for, I forgot what sign it was, um, about something just being a breather and things are about to take off. So I forgot, let's see what the heck sign was that. Um, I don't know, it might have been Taurus. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what sign it was, but then we have URSA4812, which is three. Again, teamwork, collaboration, uh, growing, expanding, rebuilding. So just to know that you will be safe and call your spirit home, 57, which is 12, which is three again. Someone's coming back home because of the strong spiritual connection here. That is for sure. And we have Lend a Hand, 38, which is to do 11. So that's about being on the right path. It's a life, number, uh, life path number, spiritual number. Someone at a distance, again, can lend you a hand. And someone who is well prepared, they know what they're talking about, can get you out of a tricky situation here as well. It's kind of what I feel, Aquarius. Right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped or resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. You can check your playlist down below. Feel free to go to the community tab, vote on the daily poll every single day. Watch for our new and more variety of content coming out. You can sub to the other channel. Looks like it'll be about Twin Flames if that is something you are interested in. So wishing you the best, Aquarius, and I shall see you next time.